In today's video, we're gonna take a look at creating a podcast checklist in an app called ClickUp. This is a new app recently I discovered. It's not new to the internet, but it's new to me. I found it in the last month or so, and I was looking for a tool to create some efficiency with all of the podcasting stuff that we do, not only at Castos with the Audience podcast, but I have a bunch of my own personal podcasts that I run. It's like, I just need to, I need to get a little bit more organized. Uh, I need to really apply a lot of the logic that I use in my podcasting into a repeatable process. And not just for myself, but when I share it with the team, I need something to collaborate on, right? I need to use this tool over and over again. And it's really going to help keep the show organized, which will save time and efficiency and maybe even make the show better to get more audience listeners. You know the drill. It's ClickUp. It's free. Let's take a look at an example um, of using ClickUp. So again, ClickUp is free. It's a productivity tool based largely around lists and to do items. And what I really liked about it is the repeatable tasks of it all, because generally you're doing the same things over and over again in a podcast. You're preparing the same way, you're holding the show interviews the same way, roughly there's a framework for that. And then everything thereafter is definitely all the same. How are we promoting it? How are we editing it? And how are we reviewing it for the long term? Here's the good news. If you want, I've already done all the work for you. <laughs> I've, I've built out an entire podcast blueprint that you can get uh, over at castos.com slash podcast greater. It's ca uh, castos.com slash podcast greater. You fill out that little survey on grading your podcast. We give you some great feedback to help improve your podcast, but you also get access to this template for ClickUp. And you can take this template and put it into your own ClickUp account. And again, ClickUp is free, so you can just get right off into the races. But let me just show you how to do it. We're going to start by adding a new space. And we'll say Matt's new podcast. You can even see here, I can just select Matt's amazing podcast checklist. And we can just start right from uh, all of the work done for us. But we're going to do a quick little tutorial here. So a space name, Matt's new podcast, hit next. Um, this is what I really like ClickUp, is you can really really customize the look and feel of to-do items. I know it sounds kind of weird, <laughs> but there's some flexibility there that I, I kind of just like. Uh, I'm going to leave Matt's workspace. I'm not going to share it. I'm not going to modify really any of this stuff. We're just going to go next and go right into um, creating our list. Okay, review space, create space. So as you can see, there was a ton of things that I've could have I could have modified there. Um, I'm not going to do that at this moment. Again, I, at any point, I can drop in a template. My podcast interview list is right there. I can drop that right into here. But let's just start uh, by creating a new folder. And maybe you're putting everything into the same workspace. So we'll call this, um, you know, interview with Tom Brady. I think everyone knows who Tom Brady is, maybe. <laughs> Uh, so we created that folder and we say this is interview with Tom Brady and then we're going to create a new list and then within this new list we're going to create a new to-do item so it's going to say schedule the podcast gather the bio um, hold the interview edit the interview promote the interview and then evaluate the success. Okay. So very native again, to do list, to do items. I'm just going through and I am now creating all of this stuff um, on the fly and I'm just creating these to do items. And then in each one I can collaborate with other team members, right? If I'm using ClickUp from, for a team perspective um, and I can come in and even put Subtask. So I can say send a Calendly link. Uh, make sure it's before, I don't know, a big game. Uh, do not do it during, do not do it on a Sunday, right? Because that's when football is held. Okay, so you can do all kinds of things within the within each task, collaborate, share docs, create subtasks. Very, very powerful. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I like it. You can assign it, you can assign priority, and then you can just duplicate this stuff. And you can share it in a repeatable link uh, that you can send to somebody and they can just deploy it right onto their own ClickUp board. You can share it with 
your guest. So maybe you're selecting a whole bunch of items here and you're saying, hey, guest, I need all this information for you. Before we have the show, before we record, I need you to fill out all this information and just send them that stuff. It's very powerful. It's fun. Like I just like using ClickUp from that organized click-by-click -click fashion. It's really nice. Like I said, I have gone through and set all of this stuff up for you already. I obviously am biased. I love podcasting, been doing it forever. And I, this is Castos, so we're a podcast hosting company. But we have five major phases that we look at when we're creating a show. Uh, we call this our podcast interview blueprint. And it's pre-interview items. So everything that you take care of before a podcast episode. The actual interview items, like what are you focused on on the day you're creating the podcast? What do you need to have in front of you? What is most important for that interview podcast that day? What happens after the interview? So maybe this is the part where you share just this list with your internal team. Okay, it's time to edit. It's time to get transcripts. It's time to upload this to the website. It's time to make sure we have all of the media assets available to us. Everything that happens after the show. And then the promotional round, like, okay, the show's done. It's been edited. You had it. You recorded it. Everything went great. How do we promote this? What's the best way to maximize our promotional efforts and what should we be thinking about? That's the promotional phase. And then the long-term phase, like downloads don't come instantly, especially if you're starting off a podcast for the very first time. A lot of people get fixated on looking for downloads immediately. How do we look at long-term success for each episode? Right. So at minimum, I look at it in 30 days. I don't look at it as day one because not everybody, especially in today's time, can just listen to the episode the day it comes out. But I like to look at it after 30 days and say, OK, this show was was pretty successful. We had a lot of downloads, more than more than average. Or I'm looking around the Web. I'm looking at Twitter, Facebook. How are people commenting? Am I getting reviews? What's the general feedback? Um, so that's our 50,000 foot view of the blueprint. And you can get this. It's free. <laughs> you can get all of it. Go to castos.com slash podcast greater. Take the little survey. We're going to give you some feedback on how your podcast is doing. Or if you're a newbie and you're just starting out, go there, check it out because there's a ton of resources. Castos.com slash podcast greater. Click up. What an amazing tool. Very easy to use. It integrates with Zapier. You can do some crazy automation things. But at the base level, you want to repeat these episodes. You want to repeat this blueprint I've already made it for you. Castos.com slash podcast creator. Get access to this link. Get access to a bunch of resources. That's it. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. All right. We'll see you in the next video.